what it is guys this is your boy king mike d games coming at you with another video and as you guys read by the title some of you guys are probably surprised like what a pickup video it's been a while yes it has been a while but as the title says it's very it's a mini it's like it's i don't have a lot i didn't get a lot like i usually would you guys know usually when i do my pickups i'm coming back 10 15 20 sometimes 30 games i've done that before but this one like i said this time around i'm trying to be a little smarter i did reach my goal like i said i wanted to hit over a thousand and i did that so after i did that I kind of slowed it down a little bit and these three games i've gotten are for original xbox and you guys know i've said it before i'm trying to go for a complete set I've heard rumors uh, where I've seen where it's 799 original Xbox games. Somebody said there's 800. I don't know for sure. I know there are over 200 exclusive only Xbox games. I'm trying to really get down to that too. I'm going to start with that first. I'm trying to get the only exclusive. But let me stop rambling and show you these three games that I've gotten. So the first one I got was from the Goodwill. I got it from 199. It's NBA Jam for original Xbox. And it is complete. Now, I do have this for PS2. But like I said, I'm trying to go for a complete set, so I would need to get it for the Xbox. So I got this one. Um, everybody knows about the original NBA Jam. This one's pretty cool. Uh, it's good for its time. So you can't complain about this one. This is a good one. And another thing you guys probably noticed is it looks kind of naked right here. And that's because I moved. Let me get this. Ah, I moved this because I had to make room on the shelf. And uh, because my Xbox games are now fitting on this row because I filled this all up so I'm very happy about that but it just looks kind of naked and when I see stuff like this it makes me want to buy games to fill it up <laughs> but that's my that's what I do though that's what I do I need to fill in the gaps okay so this next game I got is from uh, Game Force these next two games Game Force is in the uh, mall of the Crenshaw Mall out here so uh, Carmen San Diego now I grew up watching Where in the World's Carmen San Diego cartoon a uh, long time ago man oh, that's, that's back in the day I never knew they even made a game so uh, it looks pretty interesting. This was brand new. I opened it. I just wanted to see the little, read the little paper and everything. Very crispy, very brand spanking new. It smells so new and everything. It's awesome right here. Very happy to have this. So moving on to the last game that I bought. This was a game I've been trying to get for a while and I never found it complete. And I finally found it complete for four bucks. And that is Grab by the Ghoulies. And it is a exclusive only Xbox game. Now this game is made by the same creators that made Donkey Kong Country and Banjo-Kazooie Rare. Pretty sure if you guys have played those games, when you turn the game on, you guys have seen the Rare logo. And this game was pretty cool, it's pretty unique. I mean, that's one thing I'll give Xbox. Their exclusive games were pretty on point. I really like that. You know what I might do? I might do a video on my uh, Xbox only titles. That's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna make a video about that uh, soon. So uh, be on the lookout about that. You know, look, be on the lookout. I'm gonna definitely do that. Now that I'm thinking about it, and I'm going to do a new update on my original Xbox collection because it's coming up on a year when I did my first one. So I'm going to do a review and show how many I've gotten since my last video. So without further ado, let's get into the, the meat and potatoes of this video, and that's my import collection. Now, I'm going to start off with um, Super Mario Brothers and Dragon Ball Z. Now this is for Nintendo, American, uh, well for Americans it will be a Nintendo and Super Nintendo, but in Japan it's Famicom and Super Famicom. Now, people always ask me what are the difference, if, there any, if there's any difference between uh, the Famicom, the Nintendo version, are there any differences? Now, I have not played every import game that I have because I don't have the system. Now, there is somebody out there that wants to sell me a uh, PS2 um, Japanese one, and I actually want to get that, I really do. Um, I'm, I'm still, I think I am. I want to get it. And he has a PS1 that's a Japanese one. So I'm definitely going to get those two. Um, so the difference, like, the only game I've noticed the difference was in this game. For sure. It's a huge difference. And the difference is, you guys know when you play Mario, when you get hit, like, say, for example, if you get the flower. If you get hit, what happens? You go down to the, uh, you're still a big Mario. You know, you don't go all the way down. So when you get hit again, you go down to mini Mario. In this game right here, when you get hit, you go all the way down. So when you if you have the flower, you know, you spin out the little fireballs. When you get hit one time, you go back to mini Mario. And that's a game changer because it can you really have to be in your P's and Q's when you're playing this game. You don't want to get hit too much because you will die a lot. So that's the huge difference. Everything else is very subtle. It's not even worth mentioning because it's just so small. So um, this Dragon Ball Z game, I've not played the American version, so I can't give my input on it. This is the only one that I truly, really know that there's a big difference in it. 
Okay, so now I'm going to jump into my GameCube Japanese games that I have. So as you guys can see off top, there is a big difference between the American version Japanese games. I mean, sorry, the uh, Japanese version and the American versions just by pure size. I mean, look at this. And actually, people ask me, do I like this better? And I do because I'm like, these are small discs. This is pretty cool. You don't need a huge, big old case for what? It's just like the discs are so small. So um, this is a pure Japanese game. Like if you don't speak a lick of Japanese, you will not know what's going on in this game. Um, so that's the difference uh, really between uh, the American version and this version. As far as gameplays go, I wouldn't know. I haven't really like evaluated that much. So let me just do a uh, <clears throat> matter of fact. Let me get the American one, the American version, and see the difference. Look at this. Huge difference. It's uh, it's it's pretty. The case, like I said, these cases. I mean, I guess they were trying to go with the time. I mean, I don't know. It just was. It's just too bulky. But um, there it is. You guys can see the difference for yourself right there. Everything else is pretty much the same. It's just the cases. So I have, of course, you guys can see Mario Party. You guys know I love One Piece. I play a lot of One Piece games right there. I've not played this one before. You have my Naruto games right there. Never played them on the uh, Jap my Jap. I don't have a Japanese GameCube. I need one. But my friend I seen on YouTube, Wilson from Wilson's World. He has a disc, a boot up disc that you put in and you can put play like any uh, like version of the game. So that's pretty cool. You could play it on an American system. There goes Bleach right there. GC. Never played it before on um, GameCube. I think I played it for PS2. I think they have made it for PS2. So there are my GameCube games right there, my Japanese ones. So let me jump into my uh, PS1. I only have two PS1 Japanese games. And this one is Guyford. Um, like I said, it's kind of like a Power Ranger thing for like Jap Japan or something. I don't even really truly know. And it's an interactive movie game. I've never played it. And then again, my favorite again, um, One Piece Grand Battle 2. This one is the Grand Battle 3. This one's 2. I've never played, uh, I think I played 1 before. I've never played 2 or 3. I've never played them. I, I got to get these uh, import systems, man, so I can try them out. I mean, it's going to be difficult if you can't read. You're going to be pressing buttons until you probably get into the action but that's okay i'm still gonna try it out now i'm gonna move into my ps2 uh japanese games um this one i honestly truly don't know what it is if you guys know what this is let me know because the title doesn't even like i said these are strictly japanese and the difference between uh p like american ps2 and japan ps2 games so the disc for some reason they feel more oh, look at that making a mess they feel more heavier to me they feel more sturdier they don't feel as like they can break is easy i don't know and the uh sometimes the artwork looks a lot better in the japan version that's my opinion i think so a lot of people also argue that they, it does as well like it does look way better this one's full metal alchemist now i've never played this game before but i've heard this was a great great game as you guys can see the difference most of the ps2 japanese games it has that little clear part right there where the american version it's black right there look it's crazy how I, when i wave it side to side the little rainbow but uh this is usually black in the american version this is there is this clear so there's a paperwork right there subtle differences like i said as far as gameplay i wouldn't know unless somebody has played the american version and the japanese version the next ones i have right there is dragon ball z this is budokai i believe if i'm not mistaken this is budokai one and the art cover is definitely different because I have the American uh, Budokai. And it's, it's completely different. I should have pulled it out so I can uh, show you guys. But I have... There it is right there. But I'm telling you, once I pull something out of here, all of these games are going to fall. I have to really do some re-shelving. Seriously. Next one is uh, Kingdom Hearts um, 2. I don't know the difference. I just know, like I said, I, I, I don't know. It's just strictly Japanese, and you good luck in trying to understand anything. It's not possible. It's not like how when you guys see me play uh, my Dreamcast, my Japanese Dreamcast, how they had English letters, then they had Japanese. So even if you were um, didn't speak a lick of Japanese, you can still play the game. I don't these you can't. I know for sure. You got to know what it says because they're not converting it. They didn't convert it at all in English. Nothing about this game is in English, but the uh, cover right there, the um, title. Next up, I have another Naruto game. Um, I have played this one. I think I have the American version as well. No, do I? I don't think I do. 
Or I have the American version for the Wii, I believe. And it, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Nothing spectacular. There's so many Naruto games, it's ridiculous. Like, you never know until you go out um, and you go to a game store and you see how many different ones there are. And Naruto has a lot of games. Like, people were sleeping on Naruto. It's a lot of them. Next is one of my favorites, Beautiful Joe 2. I love Beautiful Joe, man. It's one of my favorite games uh, for the GameCube, as a matter of fact. Beautiful Joe is awesome. As you guys see, there it is again. The clear part right there. Beautiful Joe is awesome, man. Never played this. I can't wait to get a Japanese uh, PS2. So I can't be able to play some of Or make an attempt. I'm not going to say I'm going to play it because I don't know how to. I really don't. I don't know how to read Japanese. I wish they made a system that did convert it, but I guess not. And this one you guys have seen. I'm not sure. I have a lot of new people on my page. So a lot of you guys probably didn't see this. This game right here is called Siren. This is a horror Korean game. This is my first... Uh, Korean game. I didn't even know they made Korean games, like, but it is. And I heard it's very. I heard this game is actually very, very creepy as well. I've never tried to put it in my American PS3, but common sense will tell you that it will not work <laughs> because mine is not region free, so it wouldn't work at all. So there it is. I just want to show you guys some of my uh, Japanese games. Um, of course, you guys know I have this uh, Soul Calibur Japanese game. Uh, yeah, there it is. I don't have any Xbox Japanese games, which I would like to get, but I'm like, nope, I need to focus on one thing at a time, and that's trying to complete an original Xbox collection. So, um, be on the lookout, guys, this week for my Xbox video showing my exclusive Xbox games only games. And, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do a, um, uh, video on my update Xbox collection because the year has not passed yet for me doing the last one it's coming up but it didn't pass yet so i'm gonna give myself some more time to get some more so here it is guys let me know your opinions what do you guys have any import games what systems uh do you have it for what games do you have any import systems let me know leave a uh, descript uh comment below I, I would like to read and know what you guys have if you guys see anything you want or possibly want to trade let me know i'm up for trading some of my uh japanese games i'm not too uh I, I, I'll do that. I don't mind. So if you guys have any you see, you might want to trade, hit me up. Peace out, guys. I love you guys. And uh, you guys probably wondering why haven't I did a um, another live video. It's because they keep demonetizing them. Like, now, some of the ones they demonetized, I went back, changed, like, certain things in the title. Like, the game Dying Light. I took out Dying. I put D Light. <laughs> like, Sunny Delight. Because, you know, dying, they might not want to see the word dying in it. It's just becoming so ridiculous to where I cannot. It's like they're demonetizing everything. Like, I don't know. I have to go back, press review. Some of the ones, they will review it right away. And then, they, then they'll turn back green. And then some of them will remain yellow. So I don't know. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do about that. Um, it's just getting really bad. And I hope somebody comes and knocks YouTube out. But YouTube is pretty big right now. YouTube is very powerful. But I love you guys. I'm going to get out of here. I might come back later on and do a live video. I just wanted to show you guys my little quick pickup video I did. Uh, pickup games I've gotten today and uh, my import collection. So, love you guys. Peace out. I will talk to you soon. I'm out.